Good morning, new 1%. It's Satoshi Booming coming at you with another video. And guys, we're talking about Cardano. Uh, we're going to be doing some rapid fire updates today. So let's get this show started. No delay. I got my hot tea and honey, lot and loaded, ready to go. Let's get this show started, guys. So taking a look at Cardano here, still holding strong on its way up to $1.40. Um, everything's all good in the neighborhood with Cardano. When in doubt, zoom out, guys. Cardano's been holding up pretty good during this uh, downward trend here. But, uh, you know, at the end of the day, it's important to hodl. It's important to know that we're in this for the long term. And, you know, if you bought at all time highs, guys, think about why you bought and nothing has changed, okay? The fundamentals of Cardano haven't changed. The fundamentals of crypto haven't changed. It's all speculation and FOMO, pretty much. And you want to always avoid FOMO. Think about why you're in this market, um, why you bought in the first place, and you will be a okay, guys. All right. So, again, when in doubt, zoom out. Cardano still holding pretty strong here. I think that after Alonzo Hard Fork goes live. Hopefully the market by then should be turned around. Um, you know, all we need is Bitcoin to get back up. If Bitcoin goes back up, and Cardano releases smart contracts, five dollar ADA, five dollar ADA. I can see it happening, guys. We're gonna speak it into existence, and all we need to do is believe, hodl, and we'll get to where we need to go. Shout out to our wonderful, wonderful sponsor here, ADA Coins, ticker symbol C O I N Z. Uh, please consider staking with them. They and help support, um, you know, to help support small stake pool operators in Cardano. That's what this channel is about. Thank you to all everybody that's been interested in uh, sponsoring me. I really appreciate you. Um, you know, <laughs> it is what it is, guys. So we love you. Thank you. Consider staking the coins. Ticker symbol C O I N Z, guys. They work wonders, and they do wonders for the Cardano community. Um, we really appreciate you. All right, guys. So on the first news story of the day, Alonzo White, Testnet can go live soon. And we already know that Cardano is almost at 700,000 staking addresses. This is crazy. Um, <laughs> wow. It just wow. Um, Alonzo White. Kevin Hammond said the transition between Alonzo Blue and Alonzo White is scheduled for the coming week as the team initiated basic network functionalities as well as the initial distribution of ADA to stake pool operators. The transition from Alonzo Blue to Alonzo White will not be simple, however. At this stage, rolling out Alonzo, we don't have all the core support mechanisms yet, even Plutus backend for that matter. It could be simple as a transaction that returns a hello world or a confirmation that a payment has been made. This means we have Alonzo running a smart contract. As we move to white, we'll do it in steps where we'll incorporate the release of a new release of a node and enhance CLO with functionality in it that enabled people to calculate the execution unit needed to automatically as well as uh, other functionalities that will enable users to develop advanced applications. So Alonzo White coming soon, guys. One step closer each and every day to smart contracts. I cannot wait, guys. This is amazing. This is exciting. And uh, hopefully, you know, this runs smoothly. Again, these rollouts are not easy. They're extremely difficult, they're extremely time intensive, and they're extremely technical. So we just need to be patient. As long as smart contracts get released, we will be okay. All right, guys, even if there's another delay, even if they delay it to September, if they delay Alonzo to September, what are you going to do? You're going to be mad and sell all your ADA? Huh? Huh? <laughs> you going to give up? You going you gonna to throw, throw a little fit on Twitter? A lot of you will. I'm not. I'm just going to continue to stack up ADA and chill. And we moving on. Applications are still open for the Plutus Pioneer program, guys, at their hugely successful first cohort. We are now forming new groups of students, offering developers free foundation course in writing Cardano smart contracts. So we got the Plutus Pioneer program here. 
We have successfully completed our first series of Plutus Pioneer programs, and the feedback has been positive thanks to all the pioneers who completed the course and sponsored this program. We are now recruiting for the second course and are looking for developers to join us on this learning journey to help us stress test our code before we officially release Plutus to the world. Devs in the comment section, go ahead, learn about Plutus, guys. They got all this stuff for free, for free, no charge. This stuff is amazing. You can learn, you can code on the Cardano blockchain. All right, so moving on, guys. They're rebranding the Cardano Boutique Hotel in Gimbera. Um, and uh, so we... We know about this hotel here, the Cardano Boutique Hotel, the first hotel that allows to allows you to pay with ADA. Okay, and this is in Barcelona. Uh, so we can see here that uh, they're going to be rebranding. It's still not clear on the exact opening date when we do, but it will be glorious. We look forward to welcoming all the Cardano community members sooner. Or later in warm, sunny Barcelona, we have a pool, but not a pool to swim in. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Hey guys, you know you should you should hit up View Chain and get on that uh, My Care solution, and then you can open up. You could have been opened up. You could have opened up last year. <laughs> get on the My Care solution, guys. They'll they'll fix you up. You'll be right as rain. Your hotel can be booming. And then we can see here. We have the Card the Cardano Hotel owner, Alfred Big Zaddy. <laughs> and then we, we can see here him on top of the Barcelona Hotel. Barcelona does look beautiful. I'm not even gonna sit here in front. Maybe uh, you know, when we get this cash, we can all go on over to the Cardano Hotel, rent out the hotel, party like it's nineteen ninety five. And uh I was like two when I was 1995. I don't know what I'm talking about. But you guys get what I'm talking about. Party like it's the 90s. Apparently they did that in the 90s. I was more focused on Pokemon cards. But moving on. All right, guys. We got a little bit about Ergo Dex. Not going to read the whole thing. This is a great article. But very long. Uh, so the Ergo Dex real quick. Uh, According to Ergodex GitHub, Ergodex is a set of protocols and an ecosystem built on top, which allows users to trade any pair of tokens through a single interface. Furthermore, the, e, the extended UTXO model of Cardano and Ergo facilitates the combination of automated market makers and order book style contracts. This functionality allows exchanges on the top two blockchains to share liquidity while providing the services users expect. And then they're going to port it from uh, Ethereum to Cardano with the current state of Ergodex described in the uh, Ethereum improvement proposal. While Ergodex will become the standard DEX protocol for Ergo, its UTXO allows functionality to be ported to the Cardano ecosystem in concrete terms. The platform will support cross-chain swaps between two blockchains. Moreover, many contracts from Ergodex protocol have already been tested in the Ergo mainnet and others can naturally be tested on the Ergo blockchain. Plutus, IOHK, Ergo, and Emergo developers have already accomplished this. Previously, the age USD stablecoin was converted to Plutus, the smart contract programming language of Cardano. These contracts are currently be being implemented on Cardano. Um, they're asking for 91000 in funding, and with this, they will develop UIs for the AMM, run public tests, port the tested protocol to Plutus, implement a JavaScript SDK, update backend services such as DexBots, format the Dex UI to work with Cardano and Ergo, and test and launch the app on Cardano. So they're going to, I think they have something in Catalyst. If you guys want to vote on that, uh, that is your prerogative. Moving on, guys, uh, just real quick. Again, the news of the week. Um, Cardano's reached a new milestone. Its total staking address has passed the sixth. 600,000 mark. Check out my video I did yesterday about the Cardano Rich List, guys, to see where you stand in the Cardano ecosystem. That was a fun video. Go ahead and check it out. It was the last Cardano video I did. Hit that subscribe button, guys. We got V Chain and Cardano videos every day, twice a day. Hit that red button. 
And then lastly, guys, uh, just minor news here. We got the CTO of Cardano here. Um, did you know that? Did you know in the Cardano Alonzo hard fork, the minimum ADA value is changing from a constant one ADA to a protocol parameter that could be changed in the future. And the minimum ADA for sending tokens will reduce slightly. That being said, protocol parameters can only be changed by IOG. So we're not quite at the point where the community or SPOs can influence this directly, but IOG is working on this kind of decentralized update system. We'll be after Alonzo though. All right, guys. Well, you know, that's all I got for you today. I hope that uh, everything is wonderful with you guys. I got to run. My wage slave job is calling my name, so I got to go, guys. Uh, let's go ahead and shout out to the Patreons. Thank you to our wonderful Patreons. AJ, Brett, Garlic House, Mac Harris, Sergio, Les Nielsen, The Frontline, Jeffrey, Ethan, AmericanHomeRemedies.com, Marilyn, Four Crypto, Bruce Wayne, Farouz, Dan, Brady Adams, Joel Menes, Kyle Bocci, Crypto, SVT.SI, Eric Parr, Added the Voice for the People, HBDSouthPay.com. Ryan Ingram, Daniel A, Crypto Kim Chels, Climax CH, Angela Schroyer, C Vale, Maker Dow Crumb, Stem.org, Leon Jackson, Jacob Connor, and Yaya. I love you guys so much. Don't let your memes be dreams. Enjoy today. And I will talk to you tomorrow with the Cardano and V Chain updates. Have a great day, guys.